How's it, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be ranking all seven Diary of a Wimpy Kid films from the worst to the best with the release of Diary of a Wimpy Kid at Christmas Cabin Fever. I thought this would be a fun video to do because I'm actually a pretty big fan of the series. Obviously, grew up with the books, read them in school and whatnot, and I am a huge fan of the original trilogy. And of course, we'll talk about that a lot later. In this ranking. But starting off, my least favorite Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. Hmm, what could it be? I don't know. It's the long haul. Um, you know, not much to be said here. There's countless videos of people just crapping all over this movie. Because it's horrible. It's not good. And I remember actually seeing it back in 2017 and thinking, okay, actually it wasn't that bad. I don't know what I was on. It, it's horrible. I mean, it's just, it's soulless. Uh, it's t terrible with the recast. And that's like the main issue of the movie, let's be real. The cast was so good in the original three. You can't recast, buddy. You just can't. And also the jokes are horrible. Uh, a lot of cringy moments in here trying to appeal to like a, I suppose a younger demographic, but there's just a lot of weird jokes that uh, are so outdated now. It, it's trying too hard to be current. Like the original three movies felt kind of timeless to me. And this is just trash. It really is. Not much to be said. I mean, that's all I can say. The, the recast is horrible and the jokes suck. It's not funny and it's soulless. Anyways, moving on to number six, I have the animated version of Roderick Rules that came out in 2022, and I think some people would put this a tad higher, but not much higher, because it's still pretty bad. Um, you know, I'll say right off the bat, these animated movies, the animation's pretty bad. It's pretty gross. It's very underdeveloped, looks unfinished. I don't know what that's about. It just looks like there's not a lot of time put into it, um, and it looks just weird in this movie. But I think the reason I hate this one more than uh, the 2021 version, the, the, the first animated movie they did, is because I love Roderick Rules so much. And it's just like, we already had a great adaptation with the live action film. So it's like, why are we doing it again? And yeah, it's just completely pointless. I didn't care for it. The relationship and the dynamic between Roderick and Greg isn't nearly as impactful as it is in the live action movie. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't really care for this one. I, I was a bit more lenient with the first animated film, which I guess we'll talk about that now. At number five, I have Diary of a Wimpy Kid from 2021, their first animated attempt at a movie. And the reason I have this one above Roderick Rules is that actually it's shorter than, than Roderick Rules, which is a weird kind of uh, point I should mention because usually I don't care about run times for movies, but when they're bad like this, I do because I don't have to sit through it much longer. Yeah, I think the Roderick Rules animated film is roughly 15 minutes longer, so I don't know. That's just something I felt like I should mention. But anyways, I'm more lenient with this film because it was the first one. Animation still garbage, I gotta say. It's not good. And also, this film's pretty boring, which is why it's ranked pretty low. But, uh, yeah, shorter than Roger Cruel's, so I don't know. And it just, I guess, was a bit more interesting. But it's really, they could go back and forth for these two. But I decided to put it above Roger Cruel's. Anyway, moving on to number four. I don't have much to say about uh, the 2021 film. I have, at number four... The Christmas Cabin Fever, uh, the newest film they put out. And actually, in my opinion, not horrible. Straight up, I'll say it. It's not particularly good. But um, I think the animation obviously is still a bit questionable. But I think it's the best it's looked with these animated films. And thank God they didn't adapt, you know, the last straw. Like, I thought they were going to go in order. I think they realized, like, oh, we can't just do that because... The, actor, the voice actors are going to get too old. We can't do that. <laughs> like, are we really going to repeat Last Straw in Dog Days? Like, come on now. Anyways, I love Cabin Fever, um, the book specifically. And I remember doing like a book project on it, book report back in like third grade. Loved that book. And this movie is finally an adaptation of the book. And uh, it's not exactly like the book, obviously, but it's you know, it's got the same idea, the family all being locked inside because of the snow, 
and I like the Christmas atmosphere. And I think Christmas, I'm a sucker for Christmas right off the bat. Like this was easily, I think it was inevitable this movie was going to be better than the previous two, not only because it was adapting a different book, but because I like Christmas, man. What can I say? So already the Christmas vibe and the Christmas atmosphere kind of like, you know, lifted my spirits a bit. And it's, it's kind of wholesome, actually, at the end of the movie. Uh, still a very short movie, but it's kind of wholesome and a little cozy. And actually, I, didn't, I did not hate this movie. It's easily uh, the best animated one. And I, I think it's the fourth best Diary of Wimpy Kid film. I really do. I, I liked this one. It wasn't horrible. But moving on to the top three, well, we all know what they are. But uh, yeah, at number three, I have Dog Days the conclusion to one of the best film trilogies of all time. And I'm not joking. I love this trilogy of movies. They're, they're some of my favorites of all time, really. I love these movies. So nostalgic. And uh, that could be a lot of, part, you know, that could be a big reason why I enjoy these films because of the nostalgia. But I don't really care. Um, I, you know, it's really just such a fun film with the summer vibes and it's pretty funny, actually. Like, I remember a lot of scenes from these films, mainly because I've rewatched them countless times. But, you know, I love the moments where Greg is having to deal with Rally's family and uh, they're doing, you know, weird games like the I love you because scene. Hilarious. It's hilarious stuff. It's iconic. Really great movie. Uh, it is my least favorite of the trilogy, but not for any particular reason. I mean... I don't really have many negatives with this film. I enjoy it. I love the relationship between Greg and his dad, which I like in each film, you focus on Greg and a different relationship he has with somebody. And this obviously was with his dad. And I liked that. I don't know. Really, um, I will say you could tell the kids were getting a bit older. Like, yeah, you know, Greg and Rally were getting a bit older in this one, which is why it had to kind of be capped off after three. But nonetheless... I enjoyed it. It's a perfect trilogy. I really do love this trilogy. But moving on to number two, I have Diary of Wimpy Kid from 2010. This one might be the most nostalgic film out of the trilogy, actually. Um, I don't know. I just I remember looking at the DVD I had of it, and uh, I don't know. It's just it's it's popped into my mind. It, it's that DVD I had for this movie seared into my mind, and it's just a very relatable movie. Like at the time, back in 2010, I don't I wasn't in middle school. I was nowhere nowhere near in middle school yet, but. It just was relatable. Greg was a funny character, and obviously I love the books, and I love the relationship between Greg and Rowley in this movie. The ending is really good, you know, and also very wholesome when Greg finally asks Rowley, want to come over and play after he says he ate the cheese. It's just like, that's some emotional cinema right there. Love this movie. Really good. A lot of great moments. Also, the singing montage where Greg's like surprisingly a good singer. Um, yeah, amazing. So many great moments. I could go on and on. But anyway, moving on to number one, uh, Roderick Rules. No surprise here. Peak Cinema, one of my favorite films ever made. Unironically, I love this movie to death. It's a masterpiece. Five out of five stars. Roderick's the goat. Everyone knows this. The party scene in and of itself is I, so iconic. It's It makes the movie. That whole sequence, that montage where they're all having fun at the party, amazing. It's just, it's so iconic. I love this film, dude. Um, not much else to say about it, really. I think it's just so fun. Also, when they have to clean up the party afterwards, that's another very exciting moment of the film. And it's just also, yeah, the, the relationship between Greg and Roderick is very, you know, interesting to me. And I like how at the end of the movie, they can kind of settle their differences. And in Dog Days, you can tell that Greg and Roderick actually have a bit of a closer bond, and Roderick doesn't really pick on Greg as much. I mean, a little bit, but that, you know, he's a big brother. But, it, you know, they're, they're not fighting, really, in Dog Days at all. And you can tell that the relationship and the things they go through in this movie actually carry over into Dog Days, and it's like, it's actually a complete story. Like, this whole trilogy is so freaking perfect to me. Um, again, it could just be nostalgia, but I don't care. I love them, love these movies. And other than the original trilogy, I could really... I don't really care about the others. Again, Cabin Fever wasn't too bad, I gotta say, but the, the bottom three are horrible pretty much, I would say. Um, but yeah, I would I actually go watch Cabin Fever, honestly. I, it, I didn't hate it, but obviously it doesn't come anywhere near the original trilogy. Between spots number four and three, there's a huge gap because the trilogy is untouchable to me. 
But anyway, there you guys go. That's my thoughts on the, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid films. Let me hear your thoughts on the films down in the comments below. Where would you rank what? Uh, I'm, I suppose I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it. But yeah, post your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.